Hey everyone, welcome to another modding tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to change everybody's name in the main menu for WW2K22. This is mostly done if you want to change a replaced character's name or if you want to change uh, WWE, like people that are in AEW, to their AEW name. This is exactly how you do it. Um, if you want to change their announcement name, like if you want to change uh, like Jordan Devlin's, I think it is, uh, which is a CM Punk replacement to a say CM Punk, I will definitely make another video on that one. But for this one, we're strictly going to be changing the actual like main menu name. So, uh, first thing you're going to want to do, of course, is have Cake Tools. Um, actually, for this uh, video, you're actually not going to want to delete the Cake Tools file because you're going to you're going to definitely need it. Uh, so you're going to go to File to locate the actual thing that has it. So go to File, and I'm pretty sure it's in Baked Zero. And then once you make your way to Baked Zero, we're going to scroll a bit down, and you're going to find this folder called SDB. And you're going to download ing, ing .sdb or Spanish or Italian, whatever language you have your game in. You're going to download that corresponding SDB. And then you're going to double click it. And then you're going to press this export button. And it's our, I already have one saved, so it's going to overwrite it. Uh, so you're just going to press this and then it's going to export the file. So whenever you get Cake Tools, it's actually going to come with a lot of programs. It's going to come with an MDL editor i'm pretty sure or mtl my bad and it's going to come with sdb editor.exe so what you're going to want to do is run that and it will bring this uh now that you have that you're going to go ahead and open sdb and you're going to click eng.sdb and it will open this so in this case let's say i want to change cesaro's name so i'd come over here and search cesaro in the search bar up here and then now all these names and all of these strings will come up. So let's say, well, let's not do Cesaro. Let's do, let's do John Morrison. So you'd come over here and then you double click on the string and then you're going to change it. Uh, make sure that you copy all the capitalization and every, the way everything's like done. We're going to change it to Johnny Elite. And you're just going to keep on doing this to every, everyone that you want to change. Johnny Elite. And then that should be it. That should be good. Uh, now you could do this as many times as you want, but once you do that, so yeah, once you do that, you're gonna go ahead and press S. You're gonna go to File and then press Save SDB File, and then let's just call it uh, Yes. Doesn't really matter what you call it right now. Now that you've successfully saved that, now you're gonna open your 2K22 directory along with another file explorer window. And now we're going to go ahead and set up the actual mod. You're going to go to underscore mods uh, and then make a folder called SDB with a capital S. And then inside this folder, you're going to go look for the SDB file that you just modified. And you're going to copy it with capital ENG. Sure, why not? And then we're going to drag this in here. And then I'm going to delete mine because I already changed some characters' names. And then you're going just to just delete that. And then boom. Now that you've went ahead and done that, just like every other mod, you can go ahead and close all those things out. Bring up Cake Tools, go to File, Bake a Folder, Underscore Mods, select your folder, uh, choose Bake File Index 8, or whatever you want, through 12, I guess, and then press OK. All right, so now upon loading up the game, you go ahead and look for the person that you just changed your name, and then it should be able to show up. Boom, Johnny Elite. There you go, and that's how you do it. Um, if you guys want to know uh, the next video I'm going to do, which is going to be probably today, but I'll get around to uploading it some other time. It's going to be how to change the uh, renders, which is actually more e easier than I thought it was going to be. Uh, but it's pretty time consuming. Um, but yeah, that'll be the next video. And then probably the video after that will be the call names in sound editor. Uh, but I'm, I, I want to be like patient with that one because every update they like reset the sound, uh, like the call names. So I'll probably have that one up after the final patch or the final DLC. So yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. If this did help you with uh, modding this, I guess, uh, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe for more. Also, don't forget to request some tutorials, I guess, in the comments and I'll see if I'm able to do them. Um, and then also request GFX because I'm also uh, still doing GFX requests. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one.